Yeah. Spit Bucket Podcast, it's Mr. RTBA. It's Mr. RTBA with my guy JJ Solomon. We are right here with the former champ, Kelly Pavlik. Kelly, what's pop? Nothing, man. Just enjoying some fights. So that's the Don King, man. What you think about the fights tonight? Some good ones, man. That heavyweight fight was very interesting. The uh, last fight with uh, the two cruiserweights was a, a really good fight. And interesting to see what's going to happen as far as uh, Canelo's situation. Speaking of Canelo's situation, do you think the performance Makabu put on tonight that he earned the shot at the Canelo fight? I don't know if it's so much the performance that he put on as much as, as it is um, Canelo jumping to cruiserweight to fight him. Okay, because that's another weight class up from light heavyweight now, which you only have one fight at. So I think that's what makes it interesting to everybody is that fight of him going to cruiserweight now. And these guys can fight. So, you know, it's going to be a, a test. Kelly, you're a former proven fighter. You made it to a ladder where in your career you had a chance as a champ to do what you wanted to do. Do, do you feel that Canelo did a lot of negative backlash because he earned that right in his position to do what he wanted to do at this part of his career? I mean, we got to call Bluebird Blue. I mean, people should just appreciate great fighters, you know. Canelo's doing his thing. Everybody talks shit before Plant. Um, you know, he's not going to fight Plant. Then he did fight Plant, and he beat him, and then Plant's no good. Well, Joe Saunders, this guy, that guy, Danny Jacobs. So, I mean, he's fighting names, though. You know, and he's staying active. He's fighting three times a year. Um, is it the guys that we want to see? Is it Charlo? Is it Benavidez? No, but the guy is still fighting tough fights. So, you know, it's more of a just appreciate the sport. And you got other guys out there that's making noise. You got, you know, um, and, and all the weight classes in boxing. You got Tate Davis, you got Haney, you got uh, Ludat. Oh, yeah, we know Andre. Um, but even with, with Andre, I mean, you know, who, who do you like so far? You know, we got to see these guys kind of step up. Everybody's calling everybody out, but nobody's fighting nobody. You know what I mean? This is what bothers me, Kelly. You got a guy, uh, they mixing it in Jamal Charlo, a guy, you know, his last fight was against Montiel, and, you know, he ain't fought the stellar competition like the real bosses of boxing us we want to see. So I have no problem if Canelo bypass Charlo, Andra to fight a Mako that's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, that's where it's at. And if, because if Canelo goes back down, then he's a weight bully too. Because he fought at 175, he fought at 168, now he's fighting guys. So let them fight like back in the day when I fought Miranda to get the table, right? You know, look at these guys that, the ones that don't get to respect these guys like Sean Porter. Who fought everybody? everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, you guys, even back in the De La Hoya, uh, Corte, Trinidad era, they all fought each other, you know? Um, but the, so right now, like, instead of worrying about the big name, and I get it, like, do you want that big fight? You want that money, but you got to put the time in. And Canelo has not really been relevant at middleweight, and he's been up at super middleweight right now, you know what I mean? So I think there's bigger fights out there. I think guys like, okay, Benavides. I think that's a fight at 168 that people want to see. You know? One more question. Uh, you too. Man, shout out to Ohio. Right, this is a mind-boggling experience <laughs> to come to a real boxing town and see how these fans show up and show out. Can you talk about the, the literacy and how the prestige is so high where these great fans in Ohio show up and show out? It's, it is. It's uh, great fans. Ohio's got the best fans. Um, you know, it's a, it's a fight city. You know, Northeast Ohio in general. I mean, if you look at it just from Youngstown, nobody went to Youngstown for a training camp. You know, a lot of places get credit. Cronk gets credit. A lot of guys went there from that were from Michigan, right? Youngstown produced five world champions from Youngstown, Ohio. Okay? Then you got, you know, just Northeast Ohio, you got uh, Cincinnati. You know what I mean? Look at the guys that, that Ohio has pumped out. Yeah. And they're from Ohio. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, Toledo. I mean, it's endless. So, Akron, you know, uh, Porter, I actually hear him, Akron. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a hell of a fight town or a fight state. And before we go, one thing I want to let you know we can definitely enjoy. Um, your seminars you give on Instagram, yeah. and can you please give everybody your Instagram link so they can follow you on us so they can get the same good stuff we get well, on the I record. truly appreciate it. Yeah, it's uh, pavlik.kelly on Instagram, so just go to that, follow the page, and, uh, you know, I give tips. I give a good, a good amount of tips, and, you know, I, I try to uh, base it to the beginners and try to reach a little bit into the um, experienced guys, but, you know, it's just more so getting the interest of people to uh, enjoy and learn. Hey, thank you very much, Sam. We know you're in a rush. We appreciate you, Sam. Thank you very much.